Hello everyone, my name is Adam Marie Pulse Vox, and welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 LTS Tips video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to benchmark your Linux PC, including Ubuntu 16.04, using a couple different programs. The big one being Unigen Heaven does actually have a Linux build here. There is even a pro version for it, but it'll do all the normal stress testing that the free version of Unigen will actually do. So click free download, I'll post the link in the description below and download the .run file. Let it download here. It is 273 megabytes, but the default version is free. And then open up a terminal, terminal and cd to your downloads folder. Do that as it's downloading. And then once it's done, you're going to want to run a couple commands here. So we're going to want to go to chmod plus x unigen underscore heaven dash 4.0 dot run i'm not dot four run dot run all right and then sudo dot slash unit and hit tab to unigen heaven dot run and hit enter type in your password that was probably not my password it's creating a directory and it's running it so i'm gonna go ahead and close the terminal oh wait what did it say oh launch heaven heaven uh, dir. Okay. CD uni. Okay. Dot slash heaven. There we go. And we have the Unigen heaven launcher here. Now, it sets up a default customization thing with like everything disabled, but you have the presets of basic and extreme. So if we run basic here and click run, it will start to load up the graphics elements for this. Of course, you can view all the information about it here in the terminal as well, which is kind of neat. But once it loads it up here, it'll just run through the basic stuff, and then you can tell it to actually benchmark. So here it's running through it. Obviously, I'm running on a laptop, a very low-end laptop, without a dedicated graphics card. But we can click here and click benchmark, and it will run the benchmark. Now, it has 26 scenes. I'm not going to run through the whole thing here, though I have a dedicated video on Linux benchmarking and whether or not a dedicated graphics card actually makes a difference in low, super low end situations. But that's what it does. I'm going to hit escape cancel because I really don't want this running and crashing my laptop at the moment or anything like that. And I'm just going to close it all up. But that's one option and that is going to be the most relevant option given that most people use <laughs> Unigen in Heaven for their benchmarking. I'm going to hit control C just to completely close that command. And then Ubuntu Software Center does not have the other ones I want. So hopefully the... Excuse me, apt-to-git does. All right, all right. sudo apt-git install glx gears. Can't find it. All right, apt-git install glmark2. Okay, I can find that one. glx gears is an older one. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. It doesn't even technically benchmark. It just makes sure that you're getting the full 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second that you should. It doesn't actually run a benchmark, but GL Mark II does. You can see here there is some information in the terminal ballot about it, and it just runs through a series of tests here, showing a bunch of different graphics options, and gives you a total score at the end. And by getting that total score, you can then compare it to other computers, and that's your benchmark number. So I'm gonna at some point I'm gonna benchmark this laptop, compare it to the desktop I was using for Linux stuff, and compare it to a virtual box on my rig, and you'll have some numbers just for kicks. But this is how you benchmark graphics stuff on your Linux Ubuntu 16.4 or 16.04 PC. Real quick, I was almost going to forget there are browser benchmarks. Duh, there are two that I use regularly, and it's Octane and web.basemark. So developers.google.com slash Octane. Again, links in the description below, and you can just run the test. Uh, run Octane now. And it will just run a series of tests and give you a total score at the end that you can compare to other things. Now keep in mind, Firefox and Chromium and other browsers will give you different scores. So you can use that to compare the performance of your multiple browsers on your PC. Some computers run different browsers better. So it'd be worth doing a comparison here just to give it a go. Uh, again, the higher number is the better. And the other one is web.basemark.com I believe? Browsermark. Yep, web.basemark.com. It's Browsermark. Again, does the same thing. This one runs 
a series of CSS and HTML5 and graphical tests to compare the performance of your computer and your browser. And it's pretty cool. So that's how you do it for browser benchmarking. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, don't get subscribed, and check out the playlist link in the description below for more awesome Ubuntu 16.04 related videos. I have tons up that you haven't seen yet because they're not public yet in the playlist. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any tutorial suggestions.